fantastic.
Good afternoon. My name is Wes. I am the narrator. And so am I. Oh, me too. I'm also the narrator. It's really important that you, our lovely audience, do not leave today believing that you just watched a historical drama. Because the past changes along with the future. So you can't be too comfortable knowing any facts about any of the characters you are about to meet. Act one, scene one. I saw a picture of a beautiful man And then I saw his wife It occurred to me their secret lies. And you might, you might not understand. You might not understand. But I do. But I do. But I do. Be Like Bone, the musical. Scene two. It smells like freshly cracked orange. The curtain parts in two points like a smile to reveal the outside of a brown brick building that is engulfed in the muffled sounds of stomping and guitar. The deep, dark summer night sky is clear and wide over the silhouette of the city line. Greenwich Village, a front view of Gay Street in New York City. In the mid 1890s. I do yeah. say yeah. that core said it's my absolute Thank you very much. The village was a black neighborhood. The dusty mat of the scene with hazy blue pigments and timid yellow hues stands out against the curtain that surrounds it. There are a few people outside smoking and talking. They see that Jay Ross is leaving. Bye. 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 Jay Ross, don't come see her next Boo. time. Bye. 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 Thank you. 
One, two, three, and my God knows, my God can change his mind. Revelation from relationship divine, my God knows, my God can change his mind. Revelation from relationship divine, my God knows, my God can change his mind. My God knows, my God can change his mind. My God knows, from relationship divine, my God knows, my God can change his mind. Revelation from relationship divine. A new sky is upon them. A sassy and unnatural sky serving smoky eye. J. Ross struts up the block and finds food cooking near a group of instruments, playing for no one in particular. Very early morning, still dark. Scene four. After staring into a small wood-framed mirror, J. Ross speaks. As this chant continues, we see the other characters waking up in their own homes scattered across the city. I got a goal, I got a purpose. Steps have been made, success is gained. Still, I have a purpose, set out a plan. Don't let the left hand see the right hand is moving. I could be remembered as the first person to do what I do at the highest level who looks like me. And I can achieve what has since been completely impossible. I'll say the right things, find the right steps, sing the right notes, write the funniest jokes. A credit like that, that you could be proud of. A mention like that, that'll bring people hope. And I got a few people back where I come from that could use all the joy they can get see I got a goal I got a purpose I will not be denied I got a real chance 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 I got a goal, I got a strategy. Someone will be mad, but I don't give a fuck. See, I got a purpose, particular destiny. And it's left hand, see the right hand is moving. I could be remembered as the first person to do what I do at the highest level who looks like me. And I can achieve what has since been completely impossible. I'll say the right things, find the right steps, sing the right notes, write the funniest jokes. A credit like that that you could be proud of. A mention like that that'll bring people hope. And I got a few people I got a boss that you wouldn't believe I'm comfortable thinking she's my own I, I need to prove to purpose. whoever I will listen not be that we deserve more than this upward position in life I got, I got a real chance I got a real chance I got, I got a goal. I won't know I what I need until I get a few things that I want. A little something I can take back home. I could be remembered as the first person to do what I do at the highest level. Who looks like me? And I can achieve what has since been completely impossible. I'll say the right things. Find the right steps. Sing the right notes. Write the funniest jokes. A credit like that that you could be proud of. A mention like that that will bring people hope. And I got a few people back where I come from. I'll use all the joy they can get. See, I got a purpose. Set out a plan. Don't let the left hand see the right hand is moving. I could be remembered as the first person to do what I do at the highest level. Who looks like me? And I can achieve what has since been completely impossible. I got a goal, I got a purpose, it matters not the language or size or breath. I got the reason for which I can never forget. Sleep, sleep, try, eat something, try, sleep, sleep, try, eat something, try to eat something, try, sleep. I got a goal, I won't know what I need to do. I got a few things that I want to do. The right people who shall not steal from me. I will swear to show me worthy. I will bring compromising. What I do, I got a purpose. Set out a plan. Don't let the left hand see the right hand is moving. I could be remembered as the first person to do what I do at the highest level. Who looks like me? And I can achieve what has since been completely impossible. I'll say the right things. Find the right steps. Sing the right notes. Write the funniest jokes. A credit like that that you could be proud of. A mention like that that will bring people hope. And I got 
a reason for a bitch. I can never forget this. Sleep, sleep, try. No jeans on the Try it. Sleep, sleep, try. Eat something, try to eat something, try. Sleep. Scene five. 1895-ish. You can see Bob milling somewhere in Union Square. He is well put together and looking bright. A well-dressed stranger crosses by. Hey, stranger. Do you know what is the time? It's just I'm waiting for friends, and why would he not stop? Did he not hear me? <laughs> is it that I mumbled, or does this aversion stem from my manner? This and other dramas unfold my eyes. A flashback. Woo! Finally. Okay, everybody take five. And uh, Pearl, when we run that back, it's going to be five, six, seven, and uh, Pearl. 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 Five, six, seven, and uh, and we'll hit that when we yeah. come back from the break. Thank you, everybody. Okay, Bob, hard. I'm so glad you're here. Listen, I, I know you're unhappy, and I know it's not fair. Is it about the money? I know. I know, I know you're making the same, the same amount, and you have been so helpful, and we are using more and more of your stuff, and maybe next time he'll bill you the credit for it. You know, get your name in the menu after all, just like you want. It is true, while working with Black Patty Troubadours, Bob Cole was continuously paid less, while simultaneously providing more musical ideas and content. Now, you, you know, you know just as I know that this is the way it is now. I. Bob, Bobby, you know I need you. You know why I need you. You know how I need you. We need this music and we need this show. My booker, you know, he makes it happen or, or he doesn't get that. You know, I... Listen, if you plan, if you plan to get in the way of what I got going here, you will be incensed to know how very wrong you are if you walk out of that door and leave me like this to explain to that white man how you just walked away. I will never forget it, and I will ruin you. The flashback ends. We find Jay Ross and Bob in Union Square. I say... Do you like a drink? Yes. Fortunate to have you here. I wanted to say that you, I heard a few mentions of the dissolve between yourself and Ciceretta, <laughs> and I did not like the way it felt to hear it. <clears throat> uh, it is, it's sour. Mm -hmm. But when, when the group of us were workshopping Jolly Coon Island, I thought it was Everyone seems to be somehow electrified right now. There's this excitement, but it's all got us all on edge. Why don't you come with me? To your friend's house? Yes. Yes, not you must. <laughs> Yikes, I, I mean, I, I'm not interested. I don't believe, by which, I mean, I couldn't possibly. Everyone believes in something. They find peace in familiar patterns, even especially during difficult times. There's no need to work yourself up. This industry, you are aware, you know, how it is hell for everyone. There are more white people performing as Negroes than Negroes on the stage. That just ain't right. And writers, composers, it's impossible. We have to bring something new, and I have an idea. It's hard to put my finger on it, but it's timely and right now, an approach, a way of giving what they want and getting what we want, but I... It's been difficult for me to gather. It's, it's in writers, composers. It's impossible. It's the nuance of our neglect. And I believe it can achieve success. So I've joined the new Negro movement to add my song and step. With the world still like it is, how can I not be upset? I'm all upset. At the way it is. 
You can't change the world with your dance and song. You can't change them, no, not with the song. I think you're wrong. I think you're so wrong. I've seen a bear of a man fall at the hands that fell for a guitar. I deserve some respect So I joined the new Negro movement To add my song and step World's still like it is How could you not be upset? I'm, I'm all upset. upset At the way it is Like you can't change the world With your dance and song You can't change them No, not with the song I think they're wrong I think they're so wrong I've seen the bear of a man fall at the hands that fell for a guitar. Get. We're going to be late. Late? Yeah. Actually, I, I have a meeting with an artist I'd love for you to meet. If the two of you became one, it would be really something to behold. You want to crush at mine tonight? Oh, I didn't mean... My God, it's not... It's that I noticed your stuff, and you're in the park right now, and if you wanted, my bed will be open and empty if you want it. It's temporary. People have been living in the outside here before it was a park. Not another word. I will let James know to expect you. How civil. Now, tell me more about your idea for the first black operetta on Broadway. It's formal, it's orchestral, it competes toe-to-toe -to -toe with white composers. It proves, but it's also funny. Scene eight. Another similar rehearsal room, slightly bigger, with a piano. Will Marion Cook and Abby Mitchell are arriving. <laughs> I think I am feeling quite nervous. <laughs> a pile of leaves in the fall. <laughs> if this partnership takes, then we shall be unhindered. <laughs> yes, 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 you've said. Uh, I understand that you're sensitive, but remember to be yourself. Just be yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, I would like you to meet uh, Bob Cole, composer, lyricist extraordinaire, <laughs> previously <laughs> working with Black Patty and the Troubadours, and <laughs> looking to make connections with new collaborators. <laughs> Hello. Abby. Soprano. Soprano. <laughs> and Bob, this is Will, also a composer, lyricist, trained in France with white classical music icons, previously worked with Paul Lawrence Dunbar and other such Negro talent. I wish people wouldn't introduce me with my past. Agreed. It's about the new. Yes, a new, exactly. A new page. <laughs> In point of fact, uh, I am, I'm happy to meet. There is a piano here, horribly tuned, of course. Always. Uh, should we, I, <laughs> I, I have something I'm working on that I think captures just that. Will sits at the piano and plays. Bob becomes livid, slamming down the piano lid, narrowly missing Will's fingers. What the hell 
is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, let's not get in a fight now. There's no reason. One, two, one. You all think. One, two. If you you sing and bang on, that you'll slip through without rebuff. I've had enough. Go on, calm down now. What, you think they're gonna congratulate you for knowing enough? As if that's made one bit of difference. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it, it ain't got to be this way. And to anyone else you look anything but wise. And when, when they look back, who will they reprise? When they look back, when they look back, who will they, will they, will revive? they revive? If you want to do what's what's good and true how if not by giving honor to what's deep inside and how it comes out that's enough my music it washes right out of my soul who cares if it's wild so what if it's out of control it has to be frantic and curious and untamed because damn it so am i damn it so am i and so are you. One, two, three, four. You think, well, you probably don't. How could you use your brain and come up with this? Ugh, it's completely selfish. This is our job. We have a chance for millions who don't, and I won't let you put it all at risk and show them this. Sure, they'll eat you up, but soon they'll be licking my bones and buttering me up. Oh yeah, they got them, them good nigga songs down there. Maybe we should get some, and now we're nothing but skin and scattered lines that make their way out to the country. And suddenly, America is burning up cork, stealing what thin grasp I have on what's mine, and I won't let you open that door, not this time. I play by the rules because I want to win. I want to survive. By pretending to be white? Nah, by not shucking for the... And you're the reason why every season goes by. You're the and we're still why left unsatisfied. You're the reason why we're still left unsatisfied. We are all unsatisfied. Like you, a coon. Right, like you, Silver Spoon. You know, I bet you only let loose at home with your wife. Oh wait, you don't have one. And I wonder why that is. It ain't got to be like that, you know. It's you, you have the chains on. It's you who needs to break that bond with what you think you deserve. And until the day, the day I, die, I die, I will never be, I will associated, never be associated with, you and, with you and your work. And to anyone else you look anything but wise. And when, when they look back, When they 
James pulls Bob away, upset. Bert grabs hold of Will. The sea air salts the moment. Ada and Ciceretta are tirelessly working through one moment of a routine. I'm coming. I'm coming, Jesus. Scene nine. It's too hot in here, you know that. What? What's the date? The date, 1839. The date is 1839. Can oh, we get started, please? Start to the right, and you better get it right. I got it. I got it. I got it. To the right, yeah. I'm a little concerned, but here we go. I got it. I got it. Five, six, seven, eight. To the right. To the right. You making stuff up. You make it different every time. You ready? Six, seven, eight. I got it. Don't I got it, though? See? You saw that, right? Listen, woo, I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> woo, you working me, but I think we got it. You know, I love you. Um, you speed up that last eight count and I'd love you. <laughs> You're tough. I need you. You're tough. It's okay. Listen, when are you gonna leave that man? Sis, back up off that. I will when you start coming around again. That was a mistake. It just didn't seem like it at the time though. Right. Is it George? Is he mad? <laughs> It's not that at all. You know, you can come down with me and I'll never be cross with you again, baby. I know. I'll get it was you free now. For- and just, you need to unwind. And, and Big G don't seem to make a cut. You don't know what you're talking about. I know you better than anyone ever will. Because we are the same. We are the same. And tied. I'm gonna stay right here and dance with you. Watch. Well, I want you to do it right. I got it. My pleasure. <laughs> Presence and patience. My pleasure. <laughs> Sound and sensation. My pleasure. <laughs> impulse to impulse My to impulse. <laughs> moment to moment is My simple. pleasure. <laughs> Seek hope. My <laughs> pleasure. Speak. Thy mind, pleasure. Listen and reply. Mine. You know pleasure. what you like. Was that not it? No. Hold on. That's just me. <laughs> My pleasure. Presence and patience. My Where's pleasure. Y- sound and sensation. My pleasure. Impulse to impulse to impulse. Moment to moment is simple. Pleasure. Seek hope. My find pleasure. Speak thy mind. Listen and reply. You know what you like. When we walked eyes, I climbed inside, and now I live there. When you arrive, it's as if no one else has been there. All evening, I've been waiting for you. Ice, cold waterfall, spine against heat, intensified. This belief I have inside That feeling good is more than certainty More than a certain type When you meet Meet Someone's eyes For example By surprise Feeling Good changes lives. I know that's right. <laughs> Feeling good changes lives. Light shift. Marion Cook and Hattie McIntosh. <laughs> we we know our audience. Our audience is white. And if not white, 
our audience is ourselves. They will hear what we intend, and in making white, the others will now hear what we say. You cannot humanize with the truth. You cannot humanize with a lie. We must first teach them the word. All that is left is the speaking of generality and of broadness, character, the development of a piece. If we seek commercial success, we must not abide. Perhaps when they leave and they tuck in, <laughs> a scene will occur to them anew and in nodding off they will hum a tune, foregoing the words for the feeling. That black feeling that people do want to dream about, even when they do not want it in their lives. If we, including those being left out of the conversation, seek commercial success, we walk towards Broadway but not for them or for any individual seat, but out of respect for those who already died for this. Because we've seen what the edge looks like. We know how to push against. We do this for them. Those sweet babies who are in line for the birth and will dream only just so far past what we've been dreaming and doing, so we have to push. We want those who tend this land next to have a better job than we got, with a better pay and a better feeling about what we had to do to get it. Amen. 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 We are the ones who will pay for that. But it's Okoy. What it is. What happened? Okoy has had. There's, there's been an accident. What happened? It was an accident. I, it was the accident. Koi is dead. And I simply cannot. Y'all understand. I I don't believe you. I don't I don't understand. I need to rest. Once there was a land split into two. Down below, authenticity grew. Up in the north, realness took root. And the hyperbole of the black artists had to clear around to the back porch to groove. Let's start with the south. Now there's the people who know how to hold wealth, except the poor of them, which are more of them true. Know the beauty of a battle cry of sticking with your chosen side, the loyalty of long nights, and the history of long fights. Oh, fare thee well. Only those that are in this land go understand exactly what I'm talking about. Once there was a land split into two. Down below, authenticity grew. Up in the north, realness took root. And the hyperbole of the black artists had to clear around to the back door on the back porch where on the back part of town to groove. Let's move on up to the north. <laughs> now there's the people who know how to hold wealth except the poor of them, huh? which are more of them too. Here it's snap, snap, gotta get moving, not no time to be late, gotta be forward motion and forward motion, of course, for me and my estate. Oh, fare thee well. Only those that are in this land go understand exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh once there was a land, Split into two. Down below, authenticity grew. Up in the north, realness took root. And the hyperbole of the black artists had to clear around to the back door on the back porch way on the back part of town. Down the treacherous education path. Collect the legal staff and prove you can draw a full paying crowd to groove. What's the moral of the story? Moral, question mark, story, question mark?
I am a new moon. Making of metaphor. Making a metaphor. To know me is to know what, what there's a metaphor. metaphor. To see me is to, to see, see what has been there, me. just out of reach. Matter making out, just beyond the breach. Ah, I am a. I am a new I, moon. I am a new moon. I am a new moon. I renew woo, your woo, mythology. Woo, 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 to know me is to know how true to a know me is be. to know how true a, a new myth soul might caressing be. New, centuries. new centuries. I am a new moon. I am a new moon. <laughs> Having a memory. Empathy. To know me is to know modern humanity. humanity. Also from my from reality. My reality. I, am I am a new moon. 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 I am oh, a new I am moon. A new moon. The new moon. The new moon. <laughs> the stage is set for a performance, but there is no performer. George Walker has been rushed to the hospital, and this evening the role will be played by Ada. She is entering now, preparing to take the stage in her husband's role this evening. Due to his... Uh, in his absence. Mrs. playing the part of a hopeful wife, playing the part of her husband, playing the part of Negro man. One, two, three. She's in the dressing room. She is a sexy woman. She got the doom. She ain't no mammy, that's for sure. She sees that old costume. She knows what it could do. Cooking up coons, serving up meat. You've got to remember, be light on your feet. Thank you. 
January 1st, New York gets its five boroughs. February 22nd, first black postmaster lynched and family shot. October 5th, the Battle of Sugar Point, the last battle between the U.S. government and the people that are indigenous to this land. November 10th, the Wilmington Insurrection. May 12th, grandfather clause is adopted in Louisiana so that whites do not have to pass a literacy test in order to vote. June 30th, first automobile invented. July 25th, U.S. occupies Puerto Rico. August 8th, Kellogg invents cornflakes. August 28th, Pepsi Cola invented. August 29th, Goodyear is founded. Something about gender in the law something about transness and the law, something about sex and the law. End of act one. Act two, Alan Locke, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, Wallace Thurman, County Cullen, Louise Alone Thompson. Quick, let's set the atmosphere, distribute the objects, don't make it too obvious. Not much money around here anymore. Not these days, these days, these days, 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 days. Not these nights, these nights, these, these, not these. Not this decade of years, a century of fears, a millennium of they want what we have, but they don't want us. Quick, let's set the atmosphere. Distribute the language. Don't place where the blame is or make it too dangerous. Not much give round here anymore. When someone pays, they pay, they pay, pay, they pay. And someone saves, they save, they save, save, save. For a decade of years, a century of fears, a millennium. Oh. They want what they have, and they don't want us. Things just seem to stay the same, though. Things just seem to change and change. How can we all act this way? How? 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 (laughs) 
Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, Louise Salone Thompson are in Zora's kitchenette. Tea has been served. Deep purple curtains partially block the light streaming through the windows. There are books and piles of paper everywhere. There is whiskey with the tea. I need to do something for myself or I will cease. And why don't you? <laughs> because Godmother forbids it. Forbids her African prince to write the poems about the Negro of America. Too refined, huh? <laughs> what I think she wants is rough, Ugh, right, Langston? Stop. But, but your lace and lay woman is not here, not right that now. That is true. It won't be coming neither. Not out here. Mm. We do some of our best work riding that edge. Would you say the same? It'll mean spending your little nickels of time way out here. I wouldn't mind that. Save me trouble, especially if we can. Leave our notes and papers. That'll be fine. Find a spot. I am grateful to you. I can easily steal time from this uh, assignment given. Practically vulgar at Hill Forest. We can work, still in the downtime, on the work that Mason has actually commissioned from you both. It would be smart to stretch out the pages, trickle them in, and keep up the breadcrumbs. That is so smart. It'll need to stay here with us. If anything were to, <laughs> it would mean trouble, and trouble ain't what I got time for. Neither can I. Mm -mm. You know, and I've been meaning to mention, I don't know why you married that fool. Most of us just suffer him. Must be you liked that book. Leave it. <laughs> I don't mind, I don't. I have never minded Zora's mouth. A sharp tongue makes for clear air. Well, Wallace is unsatisfied not the only one exactly one of the unsatisfied mm. i was interested in what you were discussing earlier of adapting your story to the stage with music what is sticking with me is the entrance of the institutions which step in as though to bring clarity but really just bring absurdity and estrangement it's quite smart. And the symbol of the bone is delicate, but determined. It wants us to ask this question about what versus how. It is ahead of its time. It's going to need to be specific, very developed. But when we're able to capture the texture of the text, the rhythm of the sounds, that is what will set our work apart from the deluge of worthlessness that clouds the black theater form. It's sullied by a prevalence of those wanting the profit of a black image, lacking any frame or context. Mm. And there it is. I will bring my story and my style. <laughs> Langston, you can bring your deep theatrical spirit. And Louise can bear witness. Let's shake. That's enough, you silly shits. I say we step right into it. I've been waiting to get back into a hunt. Mule bone. <laughs> Shit better be funny. <laughs> Don't you worry. I won't harm you. Not in that way I will stay here for a long while if you want me to it's true I do want to be close you might be thinking I know myself and I'm in control But you're a baby, baby soul And baby souls don't know Baby souls been known to misdiagnose I'm the king, the queen, and the throne I'm in your head, I know your thoughts You've been thinking of me, so the argument's lost I'm in your head, I know your thoughts 
you've been thinking of me, and so the argument's lost. Don't you worry. I won't harm you, not in that way. You will never be alone. I will stay. It's true, I do want to be close. You might be thinking, I know myself and I'm in control. But you're a baby, baby soul. And baby souls don't know. Baby souls been known to misdiagnose. I'm in your head, I know your thoughts, you've been thinking of me and so the argument's lost. I'm in your head, I know your thoughts, you've been thinking of me and so the argument's lost. One, two, three, so the night grade clears, and you're on your own, so you said you're cool, cool. yeah you take the throne, you think no one's home. So you'll go out, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but it won't work out. So you say, hey friends, won't you come on by? And their reply is just so archetype. They say, I'm busy, but I'll see you soon. But then I'm slamming my way into your invite, into I'm in your head. I know your thoughts, you've been thinking of me, and so they are. Outside Mason's Park Avenue home, Alan Locke sings. I don't know, I don't know. Something happened when I saw you. Sitting on them countertops, your feet as bare as palm rock. Smooth walking on the banks Haven't been myself since that spring Cause of this lingering Alan enters into Mason's office, which we cannot see. We do hear enough to suspect that Alan has not kept Langston's secret. Alan has told Mason that Langston and Zora have been moonlighting on their own unapproved project. Next, you can hear from the same office an emotional argument between Langston and Mason. Langston leaves crying in anger. You can hear Mason call out to Alan to bring her Zora, which he had already planned. I don't know, I don't know What happened when I saw you I started imagining things I hadn't thought to. You were wearing this green water. It clings and it caps. I'm obsessed. I can't get enough. I want it bad, but there is no rush. A nameless cafe. I don't know that we will ever know what ha exactly happened with Zora. She threatened to practically beat me up next time we saw each other. I thought we were, I thought we were close. I know there were many others that were closer, but I felt apart, like I was let in. I felt let in through the eyes, you know? We have been friends for 
How could she? And how could you? What, me? You mustn't blame Zora. You know who was behind it and why. Or maybe you don't, and that will be what you bear. I will never speak to her again. To pretend like all that work was not mine. I gotta get out of this town. There is so much more at stake for our people. So many hungry. This decade of violence, it has to. It has to end. You then see the slightly muffled fight between Zora and Langston behind the frosted glass of an office. It is the last conversation they ever have. It starts off with silence. What? Do you remember when we met? Who the fuck cares? Of course I remember. Look, this look, is fine. Just explain it to me. Just try to explain to me I how you can't. Think that if you don't get it, you don't. So that's it. Not everybody got it like you. Real palatable nigga just loves to be up in the house. See this. I know your secret, woman. And there it is, Langston. That's the goddamn point. You don't know shit. And you show. What? Blackout. Act three. Is there someone there? It's me. You? Who are you? Oh, Lord. Will you stop that and help me look? Look for what? What are you looking for? No, no, I'm, I'm Ernest. So am I? No, no, I'm, I'm Ernest. What are we looking for? Nothing. Wait. Question. What are you looking for? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Then you are earnest. <laughs> and we, the earnest, will share fate and regret being so goddamn earnest. A flash of light, and you can see Ernest Hogan sitting alone, angry and crying. A black light is turned on, and the world emerges of vibrant neon colors amidst the black background. There are violet trees, indigo birds, lemon rocks, and blush-colored berry bushes. In the center of the space, there is a curved screen. The screen turns on, and a green command line appears. C-O-D-E is typed, and enter is pressed. It opens up to an image that resembles space. It tingles and blinks. It pans as if previously distracted onto a tiny earth. It falls as if kinetic through the separation. Through the hashtag atmosphere as it passes through the flesh to the muscle's tissue. It sounds like cooking cornbread pancakes, but there is butter and brown sugar wafting through the air as well. Pull through again to an image that resembles space. Close up on a tiny earth. It is an atom. Ah. The atom is a drum circle. The drummers are skull and bones. <clears throat> Hi, I am the 29th electron. <clears throat> Ooh, don't push me. <gasps> oh, hello. <gasps> oh, come in, come in. The animation continues further into the electron. <laughs> it 
Inside of the electron, the ground is an uneven copper. You see a group of people. There is a river flowing in between their place. The ensemble are in a variety of costumes from previous acts and some new ones as well. They are minding their business. Some good, some bad, i.e. not perfect. In comes these large boots. They trample everything. People, people, actual people have taken the transatlantic. The boat, the eyes of one person run across you. These eyes turn and look over the edge at the reflection. The ship is horrific. The sound is enveloping. The eyes gone. Over the side, beneath the land, the ocean binary. At the bottom, there is a new life, like an old world. The ship continues on and on. End of animation. The stage returns to emptiness, and you can hear these voices. I'm going to need a container for this. I don't think we have one. Uh, not in the right size. There is a sub-message board about it that is starting to gain some traction. You could check there. Lights up on a small coffee shop in 1991. The customer walks carefully from the cash register with a plate that is entirely too full, absurdly too full, and falling off of the edges. They arrive at a table and two chairs. Through the window, you can see a large poster for the Lincoln Center production of Mulebone. Excuse me, is someone sitting there? No, no, please sit. Working? No, nope, I, I wish. Uh, just sitting for a moment, if that's all right. Mind if I borrow the theater section? Oh, by all means, I've already been through it. <laughs> Are you into that kind of thing? Yes. <laughs> I can already tell that you are, and I've been here for less than five minutes. I, well, I could hide it better. Don't, don't. Uh, besides, I don't mind. I don't see as much as I like because tickets are so expensive and the experience of being in the building can be, well, you know. <laughs> Let's look. Anything good? White, white, very white. White with white music, white with a diverse casting, i.e. one little shine. Once on this island! Oh, and they're opening a new show at Lincoln Center, Mule Bone? Oh, the never-finished collaboration between Zora and Langston. Should we go? Musicals? They're not really my thing. G <laughs> per se. I like straight plays. Sure you do. <laughs> the two walk from the coffee shop through the streets of 1991. There are cars, motorcycles, and paved roads. There is music pouring from every opening. It seems odd, but there is a sound of a horse-drawn carriage in the mix. They pass a darkened alley full of small tents and encampments. The stoop next to it has a young trumpet player and a basil shirt. The bus stops with theater advertisements for Lost in Yonkers on Broadway. As they continue on, they are approached by someone with lesions spreading from behind their collared shirt who is panhandling. The sign simply says, help. They pull out what they have out of their pockets, but it's not much. They continue on to Midtown and enter Lincoln Center. They hesitate in front of the sign for the balcony seats. In front of them, there is a commotion between the usher and someone in an old times outfit from the 1800s. I am not going up there and you can't make me. This is my ticket. I bought this ticket. That entitles me to a seat on the floor of the theater. I will not be quiet. That's what I fucking thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Understandable to be just that mad. It was only, when did they desegregate the theater? Desegregated the balcony? I mean. I know it was way after the laws changed. It's utterly unthinkable that the Grand Theater would break the law to keep us nigglets out of that which belongs to art. Right. Right, 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 right. Right. Looks pretty segregated to me. Looks to me like the only way we're supposed to be up in here is by sweating on that stage. Shit. Love to watch us perform, but can't seat us at the table. Now, what does that sound like to you? Shit. There is a falling backward, a slow blinking, 
there is warts and unpleasing applause. It's 1920, it's 1820 on the corner of Bleecker and Mercer. And in almost unrecognizable New York, there's a sign that says African Grove Theater. Inside is rambunctious and uneasy. Blacks performing Shakespeare. You can hear two distinct voices from the back, voices we haven't heard yet. How much do you say we get paid? A dollar to split. Now all we have to do is rouse the crowd. And then in the pushing about, we simple and thus, we knock one of them candles, yeah. We don't <laughs> want it to tip that it was us because it's important to place the blame and the cost on them. Cut it with the fake British accent. I'm working on a character. He says I'll be a shoe in for the part after this. <sighs> Theater is so cutthroat. I just got into show business, but I will never be caught unaware again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, a penny or a pound. I see what's in front of me, and what's standing up there is my dollar gig. I have a future. This little Negro company, what will it matter to them? Our dollar gig. Right, right, right. I've got a dream that I have to follow by any means necessary. It is a sight. <laughs> Black Shakespeare. <laughs> what will they do next? Am I right? No, I despise it. I hope they burn with it. Uh, look sharp. Here comes our reinforcements. The police arrive to see the last lines of Richard III. A race riot erupts. The police arrest all of the performers and no one else. Flames erupt all around. The African Grove Theater burns to the ground. They are in a courtroom. The arrested performers can still be seen in handcuffs. <laughs> you are hereby released for, from the custody of the state with one condition. You are never to perform Shakespeare again. Ayo, fuck you. <gasps> A swirl of images pass through quickly, things we have already seen and things we have not. When the images disappear, you can see the narrator sitting at a gray folding table with a script, a notebook, and a laptop. The rehearsal room is empty. Ahead of all else comes the insistence upon clarifying. As the distinct bear to our sight and base to our imagination between this and that object or other that I am not, that I am not, I can agree. I will not invade the succulence, the shelter it provides. Sitting outside of this encampment, humbling small stones into a ring, severing branches and unearthing a small warmth hovers, drawing inward, drawing me. On return, I was cold with people. On returning, I was cold, and I think that taking myself out of society will be my greatest protest. Thee I shall not, and instead live in my own private life. Not always was it this way. When I was young, as it goes, I stood always with a 45 degree angle between the street and myself. I led people astray that way. And sometimes it was on purpose. I imagined myself so radical, so to the root, that I placed myself in the soil in a case and I disappeared. From this place, I cannot see forward. I cannot see backward. I do not know if I face the surface. But where's the fight in that? up neatly give my attention completely but I'm somewhere else all day 
day long Maybe it's the job Maybe it's the view Freedom don't come free unless it do All day long Maybe I'll quit, no, no, no Maybe I'll quit, no, no, no I can't do nothing but this Maybe it's the job, maybe it's the view. Freedom don't come free unless it do all day long. Maybe I'll quit, no, no, no. Maybe I'll quit, no, no, no. I can't do nothing but this. I've got a thin skin, baby, hard out on my sleeve, but that don't mean I don't got locks or walls. I've got them all, believe me. And I've been broke down lately, giving to the grind, I'm a pushover. And every time they push me, I get over and forward it to my peace of mind because it's so hard to form healthy attachments in the real world it's so hard to avoid the disaster of the make it break it fake it oh oh, oh. i'm too earnest for musicals And I've been healthy, drinking in the moment I've chosen to be a little less shy. I try. And I've been living mostly in my mind, a fantastic place. I want our way. But the scenes and stakes are way too high Because it's so hard to form healthy attachments in the real world It's so hard to avoid the disaster of the make it, break it, fake it, oh, oh, oh I'm too earnest for musicals And I've been selfish, seeking for a hold, when what I've been taught, it's not what you've got or sold, it's the truth you've told. Because it's so hard to form healthy attachments in the real world. It's so hard to avoid the disaster of the make it, break it, fake it, oh, oh, oh. I'm too earnest for musicals. The prince of anti-capitalism is hung on a t-shirt, yet I still try to convince you of a complexity of emotion in a cloud of smoke. I can finally place my thoughts. A chemical dependency is how I get my mind to work. To know what I've caught and conjure up the motion. Lurk in my subconscious. See, the system is an efficient kind of monster. Make sure the antidote is potent. I'm sure I could tell you all about it. Tell you all about it. Do you know where you stand? Are you gonna do something about it? Do something about it? You know where you can stand next to me. Next to me is a real sweet place to be. If we could learn to love the language of the canon, we'll get some respectability. Holla if you hear me, but only politely. 
I don't want anyone to hear me speak in spite, see? They'll send the FBI in. It's not surprising. It wouldn't be the first time. Danger on the mind, connection on the heart. Lick, spark, ember, start. Danger on the mind, connection on the heart. Lick, spark, ember, start. Then I'm sure I could tell you all about it. Tell you all about it. Do you know where you stand? Are you gonna do something about it? Do something about it. You know where you can stand next to me. Next to me is a real sweet place to be. Upset. It's the nuance of our neglect, and I believe I deserve some respect. So I joined the new Negro movement to add my song instead. With the world still like it is, how can I not be upset? 